good morning students in this video we will discuss about conflict operations let before discussing what is a conflict operations let me discuss the background or the relation why we require the conflict operations let's take that i have two transactions these two transactions can be executed in concurrently or in, in serial way what is meant by serial way you perform all the operations of transaction 1 then you perform the operations in transaction t2 okay then what is the non serial schedule you perform some operations in transaction t1 or whatever or you can take that you are performing some operations in transaction t2 then tra some operations in transaction 1 then some operations like that if you are performing then i can say that it is a non serial schedule or concurrent schedule and this one is a serial schedule now remember one point always the serial schedules are consistent okay whereas the non serial schedules they may be consistent or they may not be consistent so in a da database if you see the acid properties we have atomicity c for consistency i for isolation d for durability so all the transaction should be consistent so whether if you take the serial schedule or non serial schedule they should be consistent so we know that always the serial schedules are consistent but whereas sometimes the non serial schedules are not consistent okay so then we can ask sir if it is not consistent why should we execute the schedules in a concurrent why 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 can't we always go for the serial schedules only but we have discussed in the earlier videos also what are the advantages of concurrent schedules what are the advantages there are two advantages are there one is that it will reduce the waiting time and another one is that it will improve the throughput or resource utilization so that's why we will always prefer to go for non serial schedules and even we there are some drawbacks com comes to the non serial schedules like last update problem can happen uh, phantom tuple problem can come unrepeatable read problem can come so all these problems also can come in the concurrent schedule so now you can ask me sir they are not consistent but this is consistent okay so what we have to do so if what we can do is that there is a non serial schedule if we find an equivalent serial schedule for it then all we obviously the serial schedule is consistent then non serial schedule is also will be a consistent let me say you have a non serial schedule okay and you have a serial schedule you know that the serial schedule is consistent okay now if you want to prove that this that non serial schedule is also consistent okay then what you have to do you have to find the equivalent serial schedule for this non serial schedule then we can say that it is a this non serial schedule is also consistent are you able to understand so then we can ask that sir how can i prove the equivalence okay we have two equivalence one is the conflict equivalent schedule so another one is view equivalent schedule meaning is that a, a non serial schedule can be conflict equivalent to some serial schedule or view equivalent to serial schedule if it is conflict equivalent schedule or view equivalent schedule or both then i can say that it is serialized schedule meaning is that if the non serial schedule is serial equivalent to serial schedule are you able to understand so then to prove that or to find whether it is conflict equivalent or not we should know what is a conflict operations okay i hope you have understood what is the need for the conflict operations so let me discuss what are the conflict operations are possible okay suppose let's take that you have transaction t1 and another operation is transaction t2 okay now transaction 1 is performing a read operation read a then transaction t2 is performing the read a where r a is nothing but read on a data item a so both transaction 1 is performing the read operation after that transaction t2 is performing the read operation so it is not a conflict operation you can read it both the transactions can read on a same data item it is not a problem let's take that 
transaction 1 is reading the data item then transaction t2 is performing the write operation on a data item a then it is a conflict because transaction 1 is performing a read on a data item on data item a and then transaction t2 is performing a write operation on that data item a then it is a conflict operation then write a read a this is also a conflict means transaction 1 is performing write operation on data item a then transaction t2 is performing a read operation on data item a this is also a conflict operation now both are performing the write operation write a and then write a it is a conflict operation okay now you can ask me sir there is a write a there is a read b is it a conflict operation or not it is not a conflict operation remember one thing if it should be a conflict operation the operation should be performed on same data item whereas here if you see that transaction 1 is performing an operation on the data item a transaction t2 is performing on the data item b they are two different data items so it is not a conflict operation so if you see that we have three conflict operations so we should worry about this conflict operation so i hope you have understood what is a conflict operations and why they are required in the next video i will discuss about what is a conflict equivalent schedules okay and then we will discuss about view equivalent schedules all the remaining topics okay thank you so much for listening to my videos and i request everyone to go through my videos in a serial way from starting to the end so that you will understand the concepts in a better way thank you so much